Hi guys, how you all doing and welcome back to Crazy Bait. So today we're going to be doing something different. Today we're going to be doing an actual uh, cooking recipe again. Um, we're doing a Bischetti Bolognese on a budget. Uh, it's based on four people. Um, it's £8.44 for all the ingredients. It works out £2.11 per person. Um, which is still a bargain because even though everything's gone up, um, it's still a bargain really. I mean, you couldn't go to a restaurant and get a meal for £2.11p. So yeah, here it all is written down here and I'll run through the ingredients as well. So, here we are, we got one onion two garlic cloves, a beef stock cube, just Tesco's own brand, um, the pasta, Asda's yellow brand, um, tin tomatoes, your beef, so the beef was about two quid, um, the pasta was 28p, the beef stock was 52p, the tomatoes were, I think that was about 30 odd P, 30, 40 P. I think they were, I think they were 32 P. Um, the garlic was 89 P, but obviously you only need two, so you get extra. Um, the onions were 55 P for a bag. And the oil, which is over there, um, was 90 P. So yeah, and then obviously the grated cheese was two quid as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fry off the onions and the garlic first. Um, I'm going to do that off of camera and I'll show you when it's done just because obviously I haven't got my tripod today. So once this is all fried off and then I'll add the beef mince, I will show you that as well. Um, here's my pasta. It's roughly um, 300 grams. If, you're, if you haven't got that, you can always get one of these. It's a pasta measurer. Um, so yeah. It tells you on there. Three people, two people, one person. Um, this was from my local council. Um, so you might be able to actually find your own from your own council. Um, but yeah, it's good for food waste. Um, so yeah, this is our pasta. The frying pan, obviously, to do the garlic and the onions first. And then I'll show you doing the, um, the mince. Now, the first thing is, is to um, do your pasta, because that will take longer than cooking the mince. Um... So, obviously, yeah, I've just broken my pasta in half. I just like doing it that way. I know the proper way is leaving it all around the saucepan, but um, that's not for me. Um, so I like breaking mine up. Um, there's also 600 ml of water in this pan. Um, so, yeah, get that on first. And then we'll crack on with getting the old frying pan going right so here we go time to fry off your onion and your garlic remember you only want it on about a medium heat just want it a nice little golden brown colour So there we go, I'm going to cook that down before we add the um, mince and then I'll bring you guys back. So here we are guys, just giving it a nice, starting to give it a nice little golden colour. Um, you don't want it too done because obviously it's just going to cook with the mince as well. Um, got the door open because I don't want the smell washed in 
wafting around the house. There's garlic and onion together, it's very strong. My mum's probably thinking, what is he doing? Because it's only literally 10 to 8 in the morning. Um, but we'll do this a little bit for lunch. And I'll probably give some to my sister. Well, one of my sisters. I don't really know if the other two actually eat pasta. Pasta's cooking. There you go. Right. So, that's done now. Um, I'm going to use, to put the mince in, by the way as well, if you've got extra vegetables in your freezer or whatever in your fridge, um, you can throw them in. If you want to save on mince, because I'm going to cook the whole bag. So yeah, now that's got going there. So there we go, a whole bag of mince in there. Um, if you wanted to save on mince, like I say, you can um, bulk it out with other vegetables. But yeah, now I've just got to cook this down before we can um, crack on with the, uh, the next part. This will take a little while. Right, so that is on a really slow cook, um, nicely doing. Now we're just going to add into our 150ml of beef stock. Give it another little stir. The holes in these frying pan, <clears throat> in a frying pan or a saucepan, come in very handy when you don't want greasy spoons on your work surface. Look at that. If you angle it just right, it will drip back into the pan. Yeah. Just got to open the tin of tomatoes and put them in, and we're nearly done. Just like that, now got to mix it all in and I will show you the finished product. Right guys, there you go. So all cooked up. Now my mum's finally down. She um the video, you can cough, I cough all the time. She goes, I don't mean to cough. <laughs> Our house, do what we want. Um, so yeah, that's that done. Now, the 
pasta's done too. I did shut the door because I didn't want the smell wafting up, but then she comes down and says, Oh no, I could just smell the mints. <coughs> so I'm just going to hmm, leave that there so I don't burn the worktop. Done that plenty of times. Just to show you, I'll try a little bit now and then I'll um, keep the rest for lunch because. I'm not a great pasta person. Um, I eat. I'll eat. Yeah. I will probably eat one of these plates maybe a year. <laughs> um, no, it's fine. So yeah, a whole pasta will probably last me a good two years maybe. Um, this one. Not to no. my daughter's gear. My no, daughter's yeah, this gear. this will go to my sister. Mm. One of them that I know eats pasta. <laughs> Not too sure on the other two. Um, but yeah, look at that. I'll give it a little go. Right, it is. Would you like me to hold that for you? Look at that. Pasta, everyone's tried pasta. Turn the camera on. <laughs> it's a bit hard without a tripod. What? Yeah, what? there we go. Look at that. What? What? Stop. Mm. It is so nice, so f just fresh. Got the kettle. There's our boil it for you. Um. So yeah, if you enjoyed that video, please give it a big thumbs up. Oh, I will say. If you don't want to do it that way, then you can actually just buy a cheap um, bolognese sauce. If you don't want to like cook it all that way. Um, but yeah. So if you enjoyed that video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, turn the bell notification on so you get notified whenever we upload a video. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, yeah, thanks to all the new subscribers as well. And we will catch you guys next time. I'll make sure we're both on the video next time. <laughs> Sorry. I thought you wanted me out of the way. So. No. No, I shut the door because I didn't want the oh, smell oh, wafting up. Locked in there. Then. Um, and also I will make mum do some recipes. Because it is both of our channels. And uh, I've been having the time. <laughs> yeah. Lately. We're actually um, in the process of making birthday cake. <laughs> or cakes uh, too. Um, so yeah, we will catch you guys next time. Bye for now. Bye. Right guys, also just a quick one I forgot to show you. If you wanted to put your cheese on it, put it grate your cheese over the top. No, you haven't got to. I wouldn't have, but I, I did mention it on the camera and I just totally forgot. But... You just put how much you want on there, really. But yeah, there you go. We let it go in the fridge until lunchtime. I'm definitely not going to be eating it at 10 past 8 in the morning. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Voila. Get a nice picture. So yeah, see you next time.